What's up, YouTube? This is Bob with Bob's Outdoors. Um, just gonna talk to you a little bit. So probably three years ago, three to four years ago, um, I bought this Impact. Um, it's called the Impact uh, XT1500 ATV trailer. Um, and I was gonna do a little bit of a review for it. For it. Uh, um, I've used the crap out of this thing, used and abused it. It's uh, it's held up really well though, actually, for uh, Chinese probably. I guess I don't know that for sure if it's Chinese based. It seems kind of like that, but uh, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's held up really well. So uh, I got a bunch of stuff in here from water and trees, but uh, the only complaint that I really have on the thing is the floor and you can see that so this this paint has peeled off the floor and that's probably some of my fault you know um just keeping it it was sitting outside for probably close to three years um before we got the shed done and and uh i mean it'll probably still sit outside most of the time um but uh it it's it's been a tough little trailer i've hauled everything from firewood to rock um i mean big tree limbs everything on this thing the nice thing that they did is like these little brackets here you can take those out you can leave the side ones side side railings on and you can take out this tailgate that just pulls out um like that uh, you, it'll pull all the way out but but uh, anyway uh you can pull that out and then it works pretty slick for carrying logs on um i don't do it too much anymore now that i've got the tractor tractor with the grapple on it over there but uh um it did actually work pretty slick for that so um i guess uh another thing that's pretty neat about it is it does have the dump deal on there. Ugh, I need it's lubed up a little bit. But you can dump the whole trailer here like that. Um, I don't use that a whole lot. I did when uh, we were uh, landscaping with it, you know, hauling uh, rock, like river rock for the, the rock gardens and the flower beds and things like that. Um, one thing I did do, and I think some of them actually come with that hitch or a hitch like that, is it just had like uh, like a pin type hitch on there. Um, and I took that off just because all my other trailers have the little two inch ball on it. So I took that off and I put a two inch ball on there um, just so I didn't have to keep switching things around um, for everything. But uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's worked worked really well i would i would recommend it i think i just looked at it on online and they're about 549 bucks um i mean it's it's definitely paid itself off these these tires they're kind of a cheap chinese tire i think but uh they've held up really well never lost air i've never had to never had to put air in them actually um that i can remember anyway um but they're not high speed bearings or anything like that but you know for working around the place or something like that it, it works really well um yeah so trying to think of uh anything else with it um, you can take all the railings off so then all you have is just this little black um kind of almost like a flatbed it, it's not a complete flatbed there but uh um i I've always kept the railings on other than I did take out that front one um, just for hauling logs on it. And uh, that worked pretty darn slick. Um, kids love riding in the thing too. <laughs> if it's not too dusty, um, that's the only bad part, you know, um, the dust and things does come off the tires, you know, and it makes it kind of hard to see. But, but um, we've taken this up to uh, my wife's family's ground and and uh, doing some work up there and and uh, hauled kids around in this thing and stuff and works really really good for that too but uh, but yeah that's the uh, impact xt 1500 um, 
by Impact Impact Implements. I don't know what else they have for implements, I guess, um, but I do know, you know, the trailer here, and it's the only thing I have that's that brand. But uh, um, but yeah, works pretty slick. I would definitely recommend it. The only other thing I guess I would like to see them do is put a greaser, um, you know, maybe since it's just this type of a trailer, it'd be nice to have a grease zerk, um, down there on the hub to, for grease in those bearings, just because they're in the dirt a lot. Um, and there's really not a good way other than replacing the whole bearing, um, to, to grease those. But, uh, but yeah, um, I guess the other thing I was going to talk to you about is I did, did build a uh, kind of a workbench in the shop here. Um, it's nothing super fancy. I just built it mostly out of two by fours and three quarter inch uh, BCX uh, plywood, which is BCX is sanded on one side. Um, but uh, haven't finished the inside. I'm not sure really what I want to do in there yet. I did put an outlet on it and uh, wired that up so a cord you can plug it into any outlet i've got a hole on this side and then a hole on the other side so you can take the cord out either side um i actually made this one so that it will come up to this lower level um i did that on purpose um just for because this height here is about the same height as my uh, my saw over here so i can set the saw on there and the boards will match up the top of the boards on top of the saw will match up pretty much to the top of that counter too so um it's 38 inches to the top is what i built this to and then i finished it with just some uh oh polyurethane stuff but it's a water-based polyurethane just because i didn't have enough of the other and i was kind of trying to use you know what i had on hand um, I did have to go buy the plywood. I didn't have enough of that on hand. Um, it is on casters um, that lock, so it uh, it will move pretty darn easy. I put a handle on both ends, so so you can move it around. You know, um, I leave it in here as like another another workbench, and it works pretty slick. But uh, but yeah. Um, just got done watering trees again this morning. I actually took the day off today. Uh, today's my dad's birthday, so um, they are in town. So we're gonna go out to lunch with them and then we got a couple things planned for tonight. And uh, yeah, it'll be a good time um, with family. So, so that's really all I have. It's gonna be kind of a short video today, um, but just was gonna go over those two things and, and uh, we'll, uh, talk to you guys later if you do like these videos give me a thumbs up hit that like button and share them with your friends all right thanks bye